it going everyone? Back in the garage for a little project today. Uh, just got back from Road America last night for the IMSO WeatherTech uh, Championship. Good, good weekend, good day. Um, but now it's time to get my own car ready for track day at Road America tomorrow. I got a truck full of parts, a to-do list, and we're gonna get this thing ready to go on the track tomorrow. Um, it's raining out today, but it's supposed to be really nice if at Elkhart Lake tomorrow. So I'm really looking forward to that. So what we're gonna do is swap out the brake fluid with more high temp stuff. Uh, we're gonna do front pads. I chose to do the Hawk Street Race pads. And then I'm gonna do rotors all the way around. Now this may seem like overkill, and it kind of is. But since the car is mainly set up for autocross, I kind of want to keep it the way it is for that. So I'm just going to swap it, all the brake stuff out since Road America is pretty hard on brakes anyway. And then I can revert it all back to the autocross setup, front pads, rear pads that I have on it right now. Uh, I ended up choosing the Hawk Street Race setup for this car. Part number. Mainly because for the four piston calipers, they do not make uh, DTC 60s or 70s. So they make them for the six pistons and they make them for the rear, but not for the front in this car. At least not that I found or was readily available to where I could have it for this weekend. So I decided to go with those pads. They have a pretty good heat range of, I believe it was 300 or 250 degrees to 1200 degrees, which is pretty good. So it should be able to go on on uh, the street and the track. Uh, so we'll get started. I think I'm gonna start with the brakes after I get the car jacked up, or the brake fluid, and we'll go from there. pull the stuff out of the trunk and realize that there's always something you forget. One thing I'm going to have to do is once I get the car to my apartment, um, I'm going to swap out the wheels and tires with the set of uh, tracked wheels and tires that I have for this event and then um, the Cam Challenge, which is later this week in Peru, Indiana. Uh, but the brake duct kit that comes with these cars. Now I have a stock brake duct kit, which is a small little air scoop but GM does offer a larger scoop that you can put on the control arm and I'll, sh I'll include that in the video later but of course I forgot it so I'll have to do that in my parking garage in my apartment. So when leading your brakes, you generally want to start with the furthest away from the brake master cylinder. So I've already done all three and now I'll do the driver's front. Uh, with this, you want to start with the right rear, the left rear, the right front, and then the left front, which I'll do now. As you can see, I've already got the dust caps off the bleeder screws. And since there are two of them on these uh, four piston calipers and probably the same with the six piston, you want to start with by bleeding the inside first and then you'll do the outside. The bleeder screws are an 11 millimeter. Just go right like that and then you'll put the bleeder tube on.
I generally try and keep the PSI for this around 15 to 20. Seems to push the fluid through. Now, big thanks to one of my friends, Chad, who I was able to text because I wasn't sure if there was supposed to be air in these lines or not. And he was able to confirm that that's about normal as long as there's no air coming out of these lines, which I'm glad to say I have not had. So I just got done with the left front brake rotor and that's all I've done so far and it took me probably about 45 minutes brand new car ish um, you wouldn't think bolts would be that stuck but they were the lower caliber bolt was giving me fits so yeah I'm sweating my balls off dirty and now I have four more or three more uh, honestly at this point I may just do the rear pads and do the front rotors because they're they're pretty warped anyway. So I'll probably just front finish out the right front, do the rear pads, and we'll go from there.
that's it for now. Um, I'm gonna go home, uh, probably clean up a little bit, put the car back together, uh, bed the brakes in. I didn't do the rears, I just don't have the time. The rears should be fine, they don't do the majority of the braking. Um, but I do have the rears as spares if needed. And then I'll probably do the brake ducts when I get there as well. So stay tuned. I will post this video and then the Road America Track Day video will probably be um, before that or before this video. But if you like this video, hit that like or subscribe button and I'll see you guys all next time.